All right, this is Moonrise Haze. She is a another part of my color project. I'm working on bringing back Smoke Pearl and Siamese Sable Satin Angoras. So she's an F2 Satin Angora French Angora Cross. Um, she does not have any sheen. So she is here just for color um, and passing on those colors to get those generations back to that satinized coat. Kind of wanted to talk a little bit. She's a smoke pearl. And I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about the coat changes and the, the, the temperature changes of the smoke pearl. I have another one that I'll get out here in a little bit who most people would identify as like a blue pearl. And he is not... He, it was just the time of year that he was born, that first coat coming in. So she fluctuates between being a very dark gray like this and a very light gray like what's up here on her shoulder. So as the temperature changes, her coat and what she gives off for fiber changes. She's an amazing little mood ring. Um, she's also a big girl. So kind of look at her coat. And if I pull up, she almost looks like she's steel. Because what's happened is, is the coat growth has happened at different levels. And the shearing pattern has, because I shear my Angoras, um, the shearing pattern and the molt patterns have created a very different, she's molting right now. She's going to dump that entire coat. Um, her molt pattern will her color will come in very different due to the wool length and that's something that really kind of express and and uh when i kind of get more education about how the wool length changes what you're seeing on the angora it's called color extension um so if you if I pull open this coat, zoom in here. She's got like a light pearly gray dove, like almost like ivory color, base color. And then you have what looks like a band. Here. And then you have another coat growth and then you have her other the final coat growth on the end that was part of her last coat oh, zoom in on so she has like so many different colors here um, a lot of people confuse the smoke pearl for steels um, and so then they have stuff that pops out like her and they just assume that it's because people misidentified a steel when in the reality when you're looking at an angora and they're coloring with their face so if you look she has that very deep saddle across her face and that flushing of shaded coloring along the sides the dark ears coming into the shoulder and when i go to take her coat off if you look here that's all new growth. So she's going to come in with a really dark coat for the winter. And then she'll have this lighter shaded coat in the spring and summer. We'll see if she eats anything. I'll be right back. So he very much identifies as like a lilac or a blue pearl. And I'm waiting to see, I'm going to wait to see what color he truly is. This is uh, Moonrise Mocha Latte. Um, I'm going to wait to see what color he truly is when his adult coat comes in. Because he could just be a very, very soft smoke pearl. 
because right now I've got his undercoat open, but if you look at her undercoat, it also has that very light pale coat. Um, so we'll have to see what he turns into. Any suggestions? I want to say that he's just a pearl, but knowing his genetics behind him, I'm not entirely sure that's what he is. So anyways, there's some discussion on smoke pearl. Um, any comments, post them out. Love to hear them. Um, and thanks for hanging out with Hayes and I talking about the smoke pearl.